morning everyone welcome back to East London Homestead um, got my Gordians in here give them just a big cage to their self uh, got a nest box on each end there um, let them do what they need to do um, the old cock bird's been shown out to the end bird as you can see it's quite interested in the nest box goes in there quite a bit um, and the M bird's been outside, so you know there's a chance they might get angry. It's quite warm in here actually. Um, we're talking about it's 16 at the moment, but the heater comes and goes, like comes on, come goes off during the course of the day. Uh, went to my suppliers and bought some bits and pieces that I needed. You know, <laughs> to keep birds, you've got to spend a little bit of money. Once you've spent the outlay, then it's pretty plain sailing unless you get really any problems. I bought another set of four cages, these blocks. I haven't put them up yet. Um, they will go together sometime this week. Um, so... We've got all these ones here, these here, uh, got five canaries up here. I'm not too sure what they are, whether they're cocks or they're ends. I just have to wait and see. I think the one that's eating now out of the seed pot, that's definitely a cock. I've heard him singing. But I'm not too sure on the others yet, but we'll find out about that. Um, over here we've got another six canaries. Um, just letting them do what they need to do. Um, need, need to put another cage up because, right, there's six in there and I don't really want six in there. Um, got a few places in here. There's the old end bird. He's been in and out there in this spot. Uh, got another pair in here again. She's been going in and out in this spot. Got another pair down there. Oh, she's in and out in this box. She's got another pair here. Another one coming in and out in this box. Uh, got the pairs down there. This pair, they've been in and out in this box. They're quite a nice bird, actually. Got big, bold head of, uh, heads on them. Um, Another pair here that's been this self well. Um, again, another pair there. This bottom pair, um, there's a pied in there. And I'm not too sure. Yeah, the other one, oh, they're both pied. I couldn't even remember what I put in there, to be quite truthful. Um, got another pair here. They're in and out the nest box. I know it's like the wrong time of the year, but so it's quite warm in here, so I'll just let them get on with whatever they need. She's in the nest box here. Yeah. Yeah. And so, um, while I was out the weekend getting some bits and pieces, I went to a breeder that I know, and I picked up, I think it was 20, 20 budgies. Um, yeah, um, just put them in here for quarantine. Um, it's all had a good spray, the you might spray. Uh, and I'll just see how it goes. Um, there's, there's no nest boxes, all these canary nest pans have got to come down. Um, I ain't no time to do that yet, just working it indoors at the moment, doing the kitchen. But, I'll let you know in the next video, you know, what actually goes on. 
to be quite truthful, these birds, they're quite steady birds. And I say, I, I, I paid him the going rate, you know, for budgies, and he was happy enough. So I'll just see how it goes with them. Um, just leave them in there for a few weeks now. Because um, I say, I do want want to keep them quarantined for a little while. Cause you don't never know when you buy from someone else. You, you, you don't know whether there's any might with them or anything like that. You give them a good check over. Couldn't see none, but I say they've all had the mite spray and they're all going to get the worming fluid and the spot on and keep any of the uh, like scaly feet and all that away from them. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. It's a bit quiet in here today. Um, got, got the heater down now which comes on and goes off during the course of the day. But, yeah, that, it was just a little update I wanted to give you to see, you know, let's see what's going on. So once I get these cages up, the other four that I bought yesterday, um, I bought them from a good supplier. Um, he's in Badrillin in Pound Lane. Um, called Wilton Pets or Wilton Birds um, but he's so knowledgeable um, he'll let you know you know what's going on what's occurring and you know so if you need to go there anytime um, just ask for Jack it's a little family run business but it's a lovely shop you you go in there even if you're going out to buy anything you'll come out with something because he's got quite a lot of um, supplies, seeds, um, and the other thing is, you buy seeds, he'll even carry it out of the car for you. That's, you know, that's how good they are. Um, but anyway, that's Pan Lane and um, Wilton Birds. Um, I have a trip down there every couple of weeks. Um, but yeah, anyway. If you um, could, please like the video and subscribe um, and keep the videos coming. Um, just want to, you know, get a few more videos coming out in the next few weeks. But I say, if you've got a, a question, just ask me because if I can answer it, I will. Um, I've got to do a bit of... Just notice here, got to, got to do a bit of over in there. Um, notice some seed on the floor. But anyway, I'll see you in the next one. This is just like a little catch up. Um, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. Right, thanks for watching. Uh, have, have a lovely rest of your day. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.